This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. I'm going to give you an overview of what Adobe Encore CS6 can do for you. Encore is a DVD authoring product, and it sounds simple, but it's actually a highly complex, deeply detailed, rich product that gives you all sorts of options to create DVDs and Blu-ray discs that look exactly like Hollywood feature film DVDs. So let me give you a basic idea of what the DVD authoring process is like here inside Adobe Encore CS6. The first order of business is to bring in your assets. Your assets typically are video files and audio files and still images. So here I have three different kinds of video files. I've got a MPEG video with its associated audio. I've got a QuickTime MOV file, and I have a Premiere Pro sequence. You can link directly to Premiere Pro sequences, and you don't have to transcode them inside Premiere Pro. You can link to them and then transcode them here to save that extra step and to ensure really high quality video when you put it on a DVD or a Blu-ray or something called a Flash DVD project, which I'll explain later. Over here, we've got some slideshow images that I brought in and converted to a slideshow. Slideshows look something like this. You've got all the slides. These little icons here mean that there are transitions between the slides, and this little FX means that you can zoom or pan on the slide, plus add music to the slideshow. When you bring in your video files, you convert them to timelines. Here are those three videos now converted to timelines. They look something like this. With a timeline, you can add extra audio tracks. For instance, you might have a foreign language dubs or director comments. You can add closed captioning and subtitles. That's the purpose for having a timeline. You can also add chapter markers to a timeline. These are scene selection chapter markers. So for instance, this is uh, scene two in this particular clip. Once you've got your assets all arranged, then you create menus. The menus look something like this. I got a couple of menus here. Drop them down, I get the main menu and the scene selection menu. I created them very easily by using templates that come with Encore. Here's the template that I used to create that first menu, that main menu. And then here's the template that I used to create the scene selection menu, right like that. When you have your menus all laid out, you want to start making links from items or buttons within those menus to your assets. So for example, I linked this chapter to that button right there simply by dragging the chapter marker to that button. You notice there are two markers. This is the chapter marker that indicates where the video will start playing when you click on this button. And this is the poster frame. This is what image will appear here inside this button. And these buttons can be animated. They can be video that will play straight off the video as well. In the main menu, it doesn't look like they're buttons, it looks like they're text, but these are all buttons, of course, and the way you link to the buttons is simply by dragging timelines to the buttons. So, for example, here's these timelines. I can just drag that to that button there and make a link to it. Same was true for the rest of these timelines, as well as the slideshow. Just drag the slideshow to that button there to link to it, and then I can link to the scene selection menu simply by dragging the scene selection menu to that. So once you've got all the items linked to the buttons, then you want to test your project and you simply go and preview it by clicking over here. And notice that it's highlighted here. That means that this button is currently the selected button. If I were to go down here and click on one of these guys, it'll play whatever the selected button is. But I'll just click on it directly like this and let's go to this little video clip here. back to that menu. We're going to see a lot of footage like that, beautiful scenic footage provided to us courtesy of Digital Juice, a company that has all kinds of excellent stock footage as well as special effects for products like Premiere Pro and After Effects. And I'm going to feature their special effects products in my tutorials on Premiere Pro and After Effects. But here we're going to look at a lot of really beautiful stock footage from Digital Juice and I thank them for providing this video. Here's some more stuff from Digital Juice. back to this one and check out the time-lapse videos. And then finally the slideshow. The slideshow has music on it as well and transitions and little bits of zooms. Like that. And here's a link to the scene selection menu. It takes you to this menu and Within here are these links to chapters or scenes within a clip. So we'll just go right to this scene here. Like so. Then we can go back to the main menu by clicking on this link here. 
So once you've got things all checked out, you know that your buttons go where they're supposed to go, and when the videos are finished, they come back to the right place, things like that. You've checked your navigation. Then it's time to complete your project. There are three options when you finish your project. You can create a DVD or a Blu-ray disc or what's called a Flash project. A Flash project is really a cool feature here inside Encore. You can take a DVD-like experience to a browser. All you need is a browser to serve as your interface, and running inside the browser will look for all the world like a DVD, but it runs straight off of your hard drive. So that's three ways that you can export your project, which really make Encore more than just a DVD authoring tool. It also lets you make these online experiences that look like DVDs. So that's a basic overview of how Encore works. I'm here to tell you it's much more complex than that. There are many, many more features, including the library, which is full of all kinds of extra things that allow you to make menus from scratch. There's a flowchart that helps you organize your project. You can edit your menus inside Photoshop simply by clicking on this button to open up Photoshop, and you can edit the menus either from within Encore or make menus from scratch inside Photoshop. There are all sorts of tools and features and nuances inside Encore that allow you to make high-quality, professional-looking DVD projects. We're going to cover all those different features inside the upcoming tutorials.